let's uh, try to understand the concept of clearance uh, by definition it sounds a very complicated concept the definition of clearance says that it is the theoretical volume of plasma or the hypothetical volume of plasma or the notional volume of plasma which is completely cleared of a substance per unit time now this sounds very complicated and what it probably means is that kidney is clearing of a substance uh, from the plasma so it takes let's say one liter plasma and removes the substance completely then the next liter of plasma is taken and the substance is completely removed uh, 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 from it by the kidneys and so on so that uh, sounds the complicated definition of the clearance let's try to simplify it basically for a substance x which is present in the plasma and kidneys are going to clear it and excrete it into the urine the clearance equation would be ux into v upon px that is the clearance equation now uh, what are these uh, parameters let's see them one by one and try to understand uh, ux is urinary concentration of that particular substance uh, urinary concentration of x in milligram per ml and uh, v is urine flow rate or volume of urine per unit time uh, volume of urine uh, ml per unit time let's say ml per minute or per hour per day and px is the plasma concentration of that substance plasma concentration of x and as we all are aware plasma concentration is always in milligram percent that's uh, universally accepted unit that is the clearance equation let's try to understand this from the, the equation what is ux into v let's see the numerator first uh, ux is urinary concentration of a substance uh, in milligram per ml so let's take uh, hypothetical values uh, let's say a substance is uh, 2 milligram per ml that's the concentration of this substance x into the urine that means ev in every 1 ml of urine 2 milligram substance will be found and v the total volume of urine per unit time or urine flow rate is let's say 100 ml per minute then what will be ux into v uh, in every 1 ml urine 2 milligram substance is being excreted and 100 ml urine is being formed every minute that means ux into v will be 200 milligram per minute in every 1 ml urine 2 milligram substance is excreted then in 100 ml urine it would be 100 into 2 so 200 milligrams would be excreted per minute that's the ux into v uh, in this particular instance and that means uh, 200 milligrams per minute would mean this is the total excretion rate of that substance per unit time this substance is being excreted into the urine uh, totally at this particular rate that means uh, 200 milligram is being excreted every minute so ux into v is total excretion uh, rate of a substance per unit time and then 
we had on the denominator we have plasma concentration of that substance and therefore clearance can be said to be the ratio of its total excretion rate to its plasma concentration in milligram percent that uh, can be said to be the clearance that this is this substance being excreted at a certain rate into the urine and denominator is its plasma concentration so if a substance uh, is having a zero clearance what does that mean for instance glucose has a zero clearance that means numerator would be zero and that means it is not being excreted into the urine at all so uh, therefore its uh, clearance rate would be zero or some substance which is having a very high clearance would mean that it its plasma concentration would be low and its excretion rate would be high so it is being cleared it's an excretory product and it's excreted into the urine at a very high rate that is the concept of clearance basically how much is being excreted per unit time uh, and its ratio with its plasma concentration that is the clearance. very often this uh, definition or this concept is also utilized uh, in the case of uh, the drugs that are given intravenously and the clearance rate of those drugs uh, is calculated to see how much is uh, kidney able to eliminate per unit time and how much is its plasma concentration if its plasma concentration begins to increase that means uh, kidney is not able to excrete it uh, at a certain rate and it is getting accumulated in the plasma its excretion rate is falling clearance is decreasing so uh, that is the applicability of the definition of clearance now let me just extend it further and uh, add one more dimension to this we know now that excretion rate of the substance is calculated like this urinary concentration of that substance into total volume of urine per unit time that's the total excretion rate of the substance now we want to know whether a substance is being secreted by the tubules or reabsorbed by the tubules how to calculate it let's say we have uh, certain values with us plasma concentration of the substance is known to us urinary concentration of the substance is also known to us we know the gfr and we know the total volume of urine per unit time now how do we know whether the substance is being uh, secreted into the tubules or reabsorbed by the tubules let's make two brackets and try to understand what happens with this substance in the first bracket let's write px into gfr what is px into gfr a uh, total filtered amount of a substance per unit time is calculated like this plasma concentration of the substance into gfr this is how we calculate the total filtered amount of a substance at the glomerulus per unit time so this is the total filtered amount of the substance x and the other bracket let's write ux into v we had uh, this data with us those four values with us we have made two brackets for that ux into v now we already know what is ux into v total excreted amount per unit time is ux into v therefore now we know how much is being filtered per unit time and how much is being excreted per unit time now if i say from the given data that first bracket is larger than the second what would it mean it means filtered amount is more greater and excreted amount is less than that it means the substance must have been reabsorbed 
filtered amount is greater for that substance but uh, what is coming into the urine is less than that that means it was the substance was reabsorbed on the other hand if i say first bracket is smaller and the second back bracket is uh, larger than that so filtered amount uh, from from the data given if you, if we find out that filtered amount is less per unit time and what is coming into the urine is more than that that means the substance must have been secreted so uh, that's how uh, from the data we can calculate uh, certain values and come to certain conclusions uh, how much is the substance is being cleared how much is being excreted per unit time and what is its plasma